Once you've navigated to the appointments page, which is accessed by clicking the appointments button in the top menu, you'll just need to click a time slot in an operator column. In the right side panel, you can either search for an existing client or you can add a new client in simply by clicking the add new client button over here. This client is existing, so we're going to search for them instead. Once you've searched for them, click the relevant client and then the select services window will pop up. This is where you can select the services that the client will be receiving. You can search for them over here. You can look through your list of categories and select a service like that. Otherwise, you can just search for the service by clicking the magnifying glass. Select the service and you'll see it appear in the right side panel. If you would like to send the client a confirmation message after the appointment is confirmed, you can do so by ticking the send email or send SMS to client button. Once you're happy, click confirm. Great, the appointment has been made. Now that the appointment has been created, let's take a look at how flexible your appointments are. We can pick it up and drag it to an alternate time or operator. We can shorten or lengthen an appointment simply by clicking the bottom of the appointment and dragging accordingly. If you click on the appointment's name on their appointment, you'll be shown the visit details window. From here, you can click and start typing in this comments box to make a note about this specific appointment. These comments will be saved in the client's history and can be referred to at any time. If you want the comment to be locked after writing the comment, simply click save and lock. You can view the appointment's details as well as view the client's contact details from here. You can also view all client history that has a comment attached via the history tab. Back on the visit details page, clicking the client's name will take you to the client's client card. This is where all of this client's details are kept, including their personal details, products, gift vouchers, and packages that are purchased can be viewed here, as well as their visit history. If an appointment had a note attached to it, there will be a note icon that you can click on it to view the note. If we go back to the visit details window, you'll notice a few other things you can do with the appointment. If we click edit details, you can reschedule the appointment or change the final cost of the appointment. You can also write a note in the visit comment section. This comment will appear in the comments box on the appointment. Clicking move puts the appointment on a clipboard. This allows you to move the appointment around to different days. You can copy or repeat the appointment as well. Clicking double book will bring up a second column for the same operator. This allows you to double book the operator. If a new appointment isn't put into the second column, then the column will disappear. We can also flag the appointment, add extra services, as well as upload images to the client's account. So these are all the things that you can do with your appointment after you've made it. It's very flexible. As always, if you have any further questions, please feel free to reach out to our support team by going to help and support, then clicking the submit a request button.